Welcome to Drawfee, where we take dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Nathan. I'm Jacob. I'm Karina. And I'm Julia. And today we got a special suggestion from Ooh. the Drawfee Patreon Discord. Wow. <sighs> that you can access if you was a subscriber to the Droppy Patreon. Sometimes we take episode suggestions from there. This one comes from Cricket. Chirp, and chirp. they say, chirp, chirp. creating the exact inverse of popular characters, Nega Garfield loves exercise, is allergic to lasagna, despises any day except Mondays, etc. So we're going to do the opposites of popular cartoon characters, and we're going to yeah. see what kind of fun new characters we can make. Yeah. Yeah. I love that idea, and since I'm going first, I'm just going to take right from the suggestion and go with go with that Garf, that good Garf. you got to do a good Garf. I'm going to yeah. do a good Garf. You know that's what they wanted. They said it directly. <laughs> this is basically a commission. Yeah, this is, this is what you asked for, although I do think the one, one addendum I'm going to add, I don't think this opposite Garf hates all other days except Monday. I think he likes them all. He just likes Monday the most. <laughs> it's a very posy Garf. I think this is a positive Garfield because if he's the opposite of Garfield, he's like, he's he's not sarcastic. I think he's very genuine. Well, I think he's like a very sincere <laughs> Garfield. So I have now I have a philosophical question. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Opposite Garfield, just Odie. Whoa! No, because Odie doesn't speak. Yeah, but but Garfield Garfield's a cat and does speak. So like the opposite of that would be a dog that doesn't speak. But I don't think <laughs> Odie represents the opposite of Garfield's personality traits because Odie doesn't have a personality. His personality is friendly and he gets kicked in the butt off of a Friendly table. isn't a personality. Yeah, it's not like Garfield is known for not getting kicked <laughs> And we kicked should stop ass. pretending that it is. <laughs> I think like we need to set limiters for ourselves and, and I think we're, we're each free to interpret this suggestion as uh, as we want to, so like, you know, some someone might think, yeah, like an opposite Garfield would 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 he even be a cat or would he would he be a dog? I think, <laughs> I think still cat. I think still cat, but it's like the same guy, but just some stuff happened different in his life. <laughs> Garfield went to therapy. <laughs> Garfield went to therapy and realized like. He lives a charmed existence and he just like really appreciates John and all that John does for him. And he's like, I'm gonna start pulling my weight around here. I love Mondays. It's the it's the start of the week. There it's so full of possibilities. I love my friends and family. I love Nermal. I'll never mail Nermal somewhere. <laughs> Wait, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Is there like a reason in Garfield lore as to why Garfield is the way he is? That's a good question. I don't. What's I don't his know. backstory? Where is Garfield from? What is Garfield's backstory? I don't know if there is like an official. <laughs> I'm gonna look backstory, it up. Story. I think. <laughs> I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> Thank you, Julia. Yeah, Julia's gonna look it up. <laughs> Queen of looking things up during the episode. <laughs> uh huh. I think he's just like. Sort of a stereotypical lazy cat. Yeah, I think Jim Davis looked at a cat <laughs> and was like, he saw a this, cat once. this is content right here. I'm just going to make it about how this cat do. Yeah, and was he wrong? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cats don't eat lasagna, Jim. I'll tell you that right now. If you gave a cat a lasagna, they wouldn't be able to eat more than like a couple bites of it before they were like, I'm full. I'm a cat. I'm like eight pounds. Oh, my God. This, you've, it, this looks like you've combined Garfield with Pete from like Disney's, Disney's Pete. No, Disney's Pete. <laughs> Disney's what? Pete. You know that big square jaw Pete? Yeah, you're talking about Goofy's nemesis Pete. Oh. Yeah. See, I only know him from Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Disney's Pete. Disney's Pete. 
<laughs> this is feet. Okay. I, I have thought he was in Kingdom Hearts. I only know that he's he turns into like the ugliest lion I've ever seen in my life. How could you forget he's in Kingdom Hearts? He's like I don't play Maleficent's, Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> but it's so funny to see Maleficent be like, Yes, I will capture the princesses and steal their hearts. And then you have Pete who's just like, Okay, Maleficent. <laughs> Gosh, anyway. this seems extreme. <laughs> anyway, Garfield, here's some backstory on Garfield and yes. his love for lasagna. Are we yeah. ready? Yeah. <laughs> Garfield was born on June 19th, 1978, in the kitchen of Mama Leone's Italian restaurant to his mother and unnamed father weighing, weighing five pounds, six ounces at birth. What? He has loved lasagna since the day he was born, and it has always been his favorite food ever since. That's kind of beautiful. Good for him. Yeah. So he was born in an Italian restaurant. Yeah. In the kitchen. It the reminds kitchen. him <laughs> on of, the counter of where he comes from. <laughs> on a lasagna. <laughs> yeah, on top of lasagna. <laughs> yeah, it's comfort food. It's like the ultimate comfort food. He was yeah. born into lasagna. He didn't choose that. <laughs> so I think this this opposite Garfield, maybe like in this universe, he was born in like a gym. <laughs> <laughs> Instead, <laughs> he loves protein. He loves he loves his green smoothie. He loves getting yeah. small. He's pretty big. He just loves eating protein powder and wearing a tie. <laughs> yeah, the taste of it is exquisite. <laughs> the tie is how I'm uh, visually representing that he likes Mondays. Okay. Does okay. This Garfield, go to work. <laughs> Does he have a job? Yeah, I think maybe this Garfield has a job. Is he wearing a shirt or is this a Chippendale situation? It's a Chippendales. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to be sure. <laughs> it's a chi- he does wear pants though. He works at Chippendales. <laughs> I'm picturing this Garfield uses like the weighted uh workout balls, like the medicine balls, but like bat still bats them around. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I like that. That's cute. He uses weighted everything. The tie is weighted. <laughs> oh yeah, the tie is weighted. <laughs> That's why his neck is so strong. That reminds me. I saw a, an ad for a product recently. That's like <laughs> a thing you. It's like a weight you put in your mouth, and uh... you like you like chew on it, and it's supposed to like make your jaw stronger, like look stronger. Oh my god! And that's what this Garfield has done. So it's aesthetically, you want your. Is it? Can you do that? I don't know if it, I, I <laughs> feel like that doesn't work, but I mean, according to the ad in the before and after pics, you know, there was some pretty incredible jaw progress um. <laughs> being made by these people who were chomping on this special jaw weight. Hmm. Nathan, I just noticed you've made the tie 15 pounds and now I'm noti- now I'm thinking of like he goes to Chippendales, you know, he does a dance, he starts pulling off the tie <laughs> and then he drops it, but like Rock Lee style yeah. where he it's, falls it's, to the ground uh, and every time, the ground. Yeah, yeah. It's exactly <laughs> it's exactly that. Someone starts heckling him and he's like, I'm not even at my full potential. <laughs> 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 Removes weights. <laughs> Then he dances so fast the normal eye cannot follow <laughs> the movements. He still loses to Gara though, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. That's a shame. It's Gara's also in there. this one. Yeah. I have one more line from this wiki that I really want to read. Mm-hmm. Okay, please. On the same day as his birth, John Arbuckle came to the pet store and had to choose between Garfield, an iguana, and a pet rock. Wow. Those were the choices? Those were his choices. Damn. I guess it was the 70s, and they were into pet rocks. But also, imagine losing to a pet rock. I mean, I would pick <laughs> Garfield, too. Garfield's the only one of those that's a pet I would be interested in having at all. Yeah. <laughs> John made the right choice. Iguana might be cool. I'm imagining now a, a, like alternate universe where in Garfield, it's John and a photorealistic iguana. <laughs> <laughs> Like just replace all all of the Garfields in the strip with a photo of an iguana. <laughs> I want to read that. It would just be. It would be <laughs> like exact. It would dialogue. have the exact same vibe as Garfield without Garfield. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because the iguana's not talking back. Yeah, the iguana's silent, and it's just John talking to a a normal iguana. Yeah. <laughs> I expect to see that in my Twitter mentions. <laughs> You're gonna get so many of them. Thank you. Maybe maybe that's good though. It's good for me. 
I'm a little scared of this Garfield. I'll be real. You, you. Sh- I mean, he's he's definitely a lot. He's very like intimidating, but you talk to him, and he's just like he's just a, a full of positivity. He's so sincere. He's yeah. never sarcastic. He doesn't understand sarcasm. <laughs> Someone sighs and goes, "Ugh, Mondays." Am I right? And Garfield's like, "Yeah, yeah, Mondays. Yeah, <laughs> Mondays. <laughs> they rule. <laughs> Correct." <laughs> It's a leg day, my man. Another chance to have a good week. He's just a friend. He's just, he's like a himbo. This is himbo Garfield. <laughs> he's just strong and sincere and nice, and everyone loves him. Not a great, not like a particularly funny comic series, but like more, more sort of like motivational. <laughs> it's a lot of just like affirmation stuff, I think. This Garfield has an Instagram account where he posts quotes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he has a poster of that cat dangling from a branch, but it is dangling from one paw and the bicep is coming out and yeah. it just says like, hang it in there, bros. <laughs> <laughs> this is my opposite Garfield. Wow. He's he's here to encourage you and support you in whatever your dreams are. I feel supported. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Garfield. Thanks, buddy. I'm gonna have a good week. Yeah. <laughs> Started off on the right foot. Karina, what character are you doing? Uh, the character I chose to do is my good friend, Sonic the Hedgehog. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Who I know personally. <laughs> <laughs> Your friend and mine, Sonic. So you yeah. know he'll be okay with this. Yeah. He's cool. He's cool. But I didn't give any other forethought other than that. So let's see how this goes. Well, what do we know Sonic is? Fast. <laughs> Sonic is fast. So fast. This one is slow. And attitude. Yeah. yeah. This is another one that's just very, never gives attitude. Very, very sweet. Oh, yeah. Sweet and slow. Like Tails. Tails <laughs> is not sweet or slow. I mean, I was thinking when I was trying to decide what character, like what characters don't have a direct like foil in the cast or explored in an episode, but I'd say Tails is kind of, is this what Sonic looks like? I yeah. should really know by now. And yet here I am. I've drawn Sonic so many times on this program and uh, still still have not had it memorized. That's fine. I'm just glad that for our first two characters, we've gone with the um, Hanzo and McCree stickers that you made. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Good God, point. you're right. I wasn't going to bring it up, but yeah, we did. <laughs> That's amazing. That's okay. I brought it up because I love those stickers so much. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't thinking about it when I chose the character, but then I thought about it while you were drawing yours because I can't think about like, Sonic and Garfield without thinking about Hanuk and McGarf. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly because my roommate made for Christmas for me one year stuffed animals of like Sonic and Garfield and made them <laughs> dress them up as McCree and Hanzo. Aww. And that's just part of my room. That's so nice. That's lovely. Yeah, they're very, they're very good. Such a sweet gift. But uh, whenever like people come over or, um, I post photos of like, hey, look, I reorganized my room. People are always like, uh, <laughs> what's this? And I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> it speaks for itself. Yeah. What do you think it is? Spikes going droopy spikes. Oh, yes. yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. Signify oh, it. how chill he is. And like, they're not blowing back like he's not moving so fast no he doesn't need to yeah yeah, he can style them this already (laughs) is on such a good track i'm going the Chaz princeton route with this hair okay (laughs) all right (laughs) this is just a sonic oc yeah (laughs) i've tricked you (laughs) just doing a sonic oc Because I, i can never think of cartoon characters other than tom tom and jerry so (laughs) Tom, Tom uh. and Jerry. <laughs> oh yeah, big big old tire. Oh yes. sleepy friend. This I, looks like a cute little baby Sonic. Yeah. Oh mm. my goodness. I feel like we need to also change the name though, because Sonic is a fast name. Yeah, what's a not fast ver- Sonic's like a sound name. Yeah. It's like a slow resonant. Resonant. <laughs> Sludgy. 
<laughs> sludge. Sludge the hedgehog. Sludge the hedgehog. <laughs> What's up? I'm Sludge. I like my hot dogs with no toppings at all. <laughs> Just plain for me, thanks. In fact, I'd rather eat something else if given the choice. <laughs> just put a just put some corn in a bun. <laughs> put, put some corn in a bun. What does that mean, Julia? <laughs> corn in a bun. Corn in a bun. Don't knock it. You've never tried it. It's true. It, it would not be possible to eat. Yeah, why not? To bite through the cob. No, well, you have loose kernels in there. Yeah, I'm loose imagining kernels. like a <laughs> uh, like a street corn situation. I want street corn. You know, you mix you mix the corn with like some uh, some spices and and an aioli. Put it on the bun. It's still gonna be weird texturally, but you know, Julia, you may have just invented a new cuisine. Hell yeah! No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I wouldn't call it a new cuisine. Maybe it's like a, a new depression meal for someone out there. <laughs> if you put the corn in jello, it would have been a fantastic 70s dish. Oh, sure. Yeah, someone in the South has definitely eaten that in the 70s. They put oh, everything in gelatin. He's so comfy. Just sort of taking a little stroll. <laughs> Just a leisurely walk. <laughs> this game would be like like an indie game of the year contender where it's like sort of a meditative piece you go bird watching in the game yeah you you just sort of walk around your town and it's like night in the woods yeah instead of sonic the hedgehog <laughs> he says you're waiting like, <laughs> <laughs> he says um slow down you're going too fast <laughs> going too fast <laughs> i can't keep up <laughs> <laughs> gotta slow down <laughs> Strolling around at the speed of sludge. <laughs> Got nowhere to go. I Gotta love follow that bird. Yeah. <laughs> that love sludge the head <laughs> She still have like hyper detailed shoes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, sludge has kicks. Very comfy walking shoes, yeah. not running shoes. They're supportive. Yeah. Great arch support. Good for just like standing around at the speed of sound. <laughs> I love to draw some hyper detailed shoes, even though I don't actually know what they look like. I know how to draw one pair of shoes and I like doing it. <laughs> I don't know how to draw any shoes I've discovered. I know yeah. how to draw one pair of boot. That's it. Yeah. Really need to learn how to draw more shoes. I learn about shoes from watching Karina draw shoes. <laughs> The last time I drew a Sonic, which was me, I did just draw the shoes that I owned. So that was useful. You do own cool shoes. Yeah. Everyone should own cool shoes. Just one I own cooler shoes. good, comfortable pair of cool shoes. And then maybe some uncomfortable ones. For special occasions. Yeah. For when you want to look really hot, but also uncomfortable. It's the price for hotness. <laughs> it it just you just can't always have it both ways. I'm sorry. I love the silhouette of this <laughs> where like his sleeve is coming down right <laughs> right on the shoe. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. Should I should I put that up? I no. could put it up. No. No. no, you pointed it out, and now it looks weird. <laughs> no, I it was good. Wow, Nathan. <laughs> Nathan. It'll go down on the other side. Freaking okay. call out post. I wasn't, tr I was saying it was good. I was saying it was good. Obliterated Karina's. No. <laughs> I can't believe you. I would never. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's more interesting to have it up, because then it can do this. Yeah, I love the droop. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's good. <laughs> Looks like he's giving a, like a lazy hello. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, as he strolls on by at the Aww. speed of sludge. <laughs> this is another opposite quality of his. Um, underneath the sleeves, he has just like the tiniest hand. <laughs> <laughs> but no one knows. Perfect. Yeah. Off to get some corn on a bun. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a real thing, I swear. <laughs> I'm okay. 
<laughs> That's another one of his cat phrases. I'm okay. <laughs> Don't worry about me. <laughs> I kind of want to add tails real quick, like in the distance. Is it opposite tails or normal yeah, tails? Yeah, opposite tails. I don't know what tails looks like, but I imagine opposite tails would just be like. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. He's running up. <laughs> <laughs> He's just ready to go on an adventure. He's picking up his friend. <laughs> opposite tails is nails. <laughs> <laughs> He's so sharp. <laughs> <laughs> Sludge and nails. <laughs> I love it. This is definitely someone's like ship dynamic that they love. Yeah, is this someone's favorite ship dynamic? What is yeah. this ship dynamic? Sludge, <laughs> sludge and nail. Yeah, just, just like gentle and boy yeah. and aggressive. Yeah. Aggressive, distant, <laughs> imminent danger. Yeah. Running so fast. <laughs> he can still fly, but he's not even using his tails. <laughs> he's not thinking about that. <laughs> he uses his tails like those uh, those boats that you use like on swamps. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it just propels him forward, but he doesn't go up. <laughs> he does that in the game, too. That's how he runs. Yeah. Oh. God, I was just thinking about this meme because I was rewatching Gurren Lagann and reliving my shit posting days. It's it's that thing that's like uh, <laughs> takes the bike and run. At least ride it, you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's like Nail's personality in a nutshell. <laughs> and then you got Sludge. <laughs> He's just vibing. <laughs> Sludge is aspirational. Yeah. <laughs> Hope to be as cool as Sludge one day. Yeah. Some, t some days you got to be like Sludge and some <laughs> days you got to be like Nails. Yeah. That's duality, man. Yeah. Okay. I think, I think I'm about done. <laughs> this is so good. Yeah. I love this. <laughs> Thank you. Amazing. All right. I'm going to go next and I'm going to do Charlie Brown. Oh. <laughs> Oh. I think it's about time Charlie Brown got something good going on in his life. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Charlie Brown where everything works out for him. Yeah, this is a Charlie Brown who's like popular, social, athletic. Karmic um, balance, Charlie Brown. All of the universe's bad stuff that has been sent to Charlie <laughs> Brown like in an alternate universe balances out. Yeah, exactly. For this Charlie Brown. Because I just, I, I, every time I like think about Charlie Brown, it's my first thought is always like, oh, that guy. <laughs> When's he going to get it together? <laughs> Charlie Brown like loves friends and family and stuff like that. Is this Charlie Brown interested in like money and career? <laughs> <laughs> this Charlie Brown chases power and fame. <laughs> Capitalist Charlie Brown in my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> and everything always works out for him. <laughs> yes. Oh, no. <laughs> A forbidden Charlie Brown. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna end up being like a one of those movies where it's like you learn the lesson at the end that maybe it's not all about your career, Nicolas Cage. <laughs> this Charlie Brown is played by Nicolas Cage. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is he surfing? No, he's gonna be rearing back to throw a football. Oh <laughs> wow. He throws the football. He throws the foot. He see it's like a metaphor for taking control, right? Yeah. He doesn't need anyone to <laughs> hold the football to kick for him. He's just like, I'm just gonna throw it actually. You can't pull the football away if I'm the one holding it. Exactly. And that's like an important lesson. You know, if you take control of your own life, other people can't dictate what's right and wrong for you. Yeah. He learned that from reading Garfield's Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> As per usual, all of the characters drawn in this episode do exist in the same universe. So yeah, yes, of course. Make it work. <laughs> this Charlie Brown's got like a C nose. This is so like I'm trying to figure out because he just has dots for eyes. This yeah. also looks like Buff <laughs> Doug. <laughs> Bug? bug? This is not Bug. This is Charles Brown. <laughs> this is Charles Brown. <laughs> yeah, we came up with a new name for, for Sonic. I think Garfield is still just Garfield. Garf. My bros call me Garf? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, oh, so it's yeah, Garf, Garf 
And then this is this is Charles Brown. <laughs> Charles Brown. <laughs> Get the football shape just right. Continue putting off drawing the face. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is a good pose. So what I want to mm-hmm. describe to you is I want the eyes to be like this. Whoa, right? his eyes are opened. So they're like looking in this direction, <laughs> but his head's turned that way. But Charlie Brown's eyes are just dots. And so there's not a good way to represent that they're looking in a different direction. <laughs> That's you true. Just, you just cheat them so to the it right. Looks like he's just looking like <laughs> over here. <laughs> just scooch. <laughs> Scooch the right eye to the right. Give him sunglasses. Yeah, maybe if I do like this. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. works. Yeah, that, that kind of work. works. Charlie Brown's got like, is bald, but has like the hair poof line. What if this guy has like that same shape, but on top of his head, so it looks like he has a pompadour? Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking too. I like that. That's powerful. <laughs> that's very powerful. He's got to look good. For the media. Yeah, and we yeah. will kind of, we'll square off the jaw a little the bit. The media too. loves him. <laughs> been doing the, been biting on those weights. <laughs> media darling Charles Brown. <laughs> He's been doing mouth weights. Yeah, been doing mouth weights. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> Garf's Instagram is sponsored by mouth weights. <laughs> <laughs> This def is so Reese's Charlie Brown now. <laughs> so <laughs> ominous. He did it. <laughs> God, Jacob. <laughs> Go long. Y- yes, Mr. Brown. Longer. O- okay, Mr. Brown, whatever you say. <laughs> he looks like an Archie villain. And I love that. Charles Brown and Archie. This is the Charlie Brown CW. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie Brown got hot over the summer. Charlie you know Brown went to is. football camp over the summer <laughs> and came back jacked. <laughs> There's a murderer loose in the town. I'll get him. Beats them with a football. Yeah, got to chuck the football at the murderer. It was Linus. <laughs> that happens in Riverdale, right? <laughs> yeah, that happens in Riverdale. Yeah. <laughs> They beat the serial killer with the highs and lows of high school football. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a name for where the Charlie Browns live? I don't think they ever named the town. I think huh. it's supposed to be like anywhere, right? Yeah, I just really hoped that they did so that we could say the CW show was called that. <laughs> Julia, look it up. I'm on it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it would just be called Brown. <laughs> Something like that. Is there like a, a cool, edgy word for peanuts? Nuts. Nuts. <laughs> nuts. It's just called nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got to do the feet differently. This is not how Charlie Brown feet are. No. They're like this. Yeah. <laughs> Those little Smurf boots. Yeah. <laughs> they live in Minnesota in Hennepin County. Oh. Interesting. Hennepin Sounds like a CW show. Yeah, I'll take it. It definitely sounds like a place in Minnesota. I do also like nuts, though. <laughs> nuts. <laughs> this season on nuts. <laughs> Lucy, I can't believe you cheated on me with peppermint patty. <laughs> Arg! Arg! Sorry, I'm just imagining in my head how funny it would be to have nuts. <laughs> they do like musical numbers. <laughs> they have one musical episode a season. <laughs> and it makes no sense. <laughs> it's a Christmas episode where Charles Brown talks about how he didn't get any good gifts this year and how it sucks. Yeah. And they do dance the way they do in the cartoon, but it's like sexy now. <laughs> yeah, it's just slowed down into like trap music. <laughs> There's lots of like glowing neon light lighting on everyone. Yeah. yeah. On the old football field. It's probably like some bleachers. I can't believe how much this reads as Charlie Brown. Yeah, it's wild. They do play uh tackle football, but Charles refuses to wear a helmet and no one can make him. <laughs> he just wears this. Yeah. <laughs> See, this isn't even the uniform. Yeah. No one can get him to wear the uniform. You try. <laughs> He's a loose cannon. Yeah. <laughs> He just does what he wants, and he's so hot. <laughs> the coach tries to get him to wear a uniform, and he's just like, wah, 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 wah. That's what you sound like. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing callback. Yeah, it's going to be like a power up. 
sort of action lines. <laughs> oh yeah, going out like this. So powerful. Get him, Charles. Get him, Charles. <laughs> Fuck Throw him the up. big pass, Charles. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm done. This is Charles Brown. Yeah, this is wondering. yeah, it is hot and successful. <laughs> the shoes, the Still shoes are so those, good. Those brown shoes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Julia, you ready? Yeah. Okay. For mine, I am going to draw the Despicable Me minions. Oh, good. <laughs> Despicable Me minions. important. This is for all the boomers watching. Yeah, yeah. for y'all. For all the aunts and uncles out there. <laughs> I feel like they are perfectly designed to be like the kids' favorite character, so I feel like I want to do the opposite. Yes. Okay, so you're going conceptually. Yeah. Starting with a wide I already rectangle. Love it. <laughs> yeah. Just a loaf of bread. I have no idea what <laughs> part of the body this is, if it's the oh, whole yeah. form. You know what? That's actually a good point. Because the minions are mostly, <laughs> the minions are are mostly just a giant head and little limbs. They're like mm -hmm. the Among Us that we can put in the thumbnail. Yeah, we now. can put that. I forgot to put that in the thumbnail on a video that we mentioned Among Us in, and and people were, people wouldn't let me hear the end of it. Squandered. So. Well, you lost us like a million views at least. Julia, this is a human nose. Yeah, so the Despicable Me minions don't have noses. Right. <laughs> yes, you're correct. So I My thought I would, I would give them a, a nice strong nose to be the opposite. Yes. Yeah, that's good. Right. That's good already. Um, so these are going to be glasses instead of goggles. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Julia, you're just drawing an odd man. <laughs> I guess that is kind man. of what, yeah, <laughs> despicable man. <laughs> despicable manion. <laughs> the kids hate him. <laughs> the children hate him. <laughs> Boomers hate him. He's he's in zero memes. <laughs> I kind of made George Costanza face here. <laughs> Jerry! Right. To be very, very chiseled. Is George Costanza the despicable man? <laughs> <laughs> he plays him in the Netflix adaptation. <laughs> he is the despicable man. Wow. We discovered something here today. Yeah. <laughs> the opposite of Minion is George Costanza. <laughs> George Costanza. Oh, okay. Wow. We're Getting some hair though. Oh, I like this hair. Yeah, this is so fun. all of the minions have like very like outdated hairstyles, and I want them to have like a cool haircut. <laughs> Wait, do minions have hair? Yeah, they got like little wisps. They got mm. Garfield style hair. Yeah, little yeah. Homer Simpson lines. Yeah, this is um of course George Costanza from the episode where he gets a toupee. Yeah. Yes. But he also, okay, so actually their bodies are basically almost the size of their heads, just a little bit smaller. Mm -hmm. So I feel like let's let's get rid of that shape. Let's move, what is over uh, here? Let's move this up. It's like watching sculpture. Julia yeah. had to had to draw the marble slab out of which she <laughs> chiseled George Costanza's face. Okay. Why is he strong? I'm glad we're starting and ending with some strong... Uh, forms. Yeah. Well, so they they got skinny little arms, mm -hmm. and just <laughs> really, really, really short legs. Oh God. Yes, so <laughs> Julia. Yes. <laughs> I feel like you've cracked it. I also feel like they're he's going to be dressed very professionally, and he is actually evil. I mean, he's the despicable man. Yeah, he's the yeah. despicable man. <laughs> of course he's evil. <laughs> he's in the, the name. despicable man. He, you know, the minions always try to be evil, but they're actually good. So I feel like this this man is actually evil, and he, he looks professional. We'll give him we'll give him some powerful shoulders in the suit here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and he's going to be all sharp edges because the minions... <laughs> Are all round edges. Mm hmm. Right? Yes. <laughs> Shorten that a little bit. It's like if you looked at any of our 
<laughs> the rest of our drawings from this episode, you might be able to like make a guess as to what, <laughs> what we, we did. Were, we were drawing the opposite of, and it's <laughs> 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 just drawing. <laughs> An just... exceptionally wide man. <laughs> this wide, strong George Costanza. <laughs> I mean, I think they would guess but Dexter. Evil. They'd yeah. be like, this is yeah. Dexter from this Dexter's Lab. This does look like lab. Dexter, or it looks like, do do any of you know who Robert Irvine is? Absolutely not. The chef? Yeah. Robert Irvine is the <laughs> widest chef I've ever seen in my life. Googling Robert Irvine. He's a very wide chef. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I do see it. Okay. Okay. It's like so. Robert Irvine in a wig. <laughs> it's Robert kind Irvine of. wearing George Costanza's toupee. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Here yeah, come we, the legs. The aforementioned. Yeah. So long. So he's not just wide, but he's really tall. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. then I feel like it, it, it unwidens him if I make long legs. Well, his still torso's wide. still wide. Yeah. It's just his legs are very long. Okay. I think yeah. that's okay. I think you're allowed. Yeah. Yeah. We've already come this far. Yeah, what are we to do? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I don't want to get called into his office. No. I know I'm getting fired. This has similar but very different energy than the Resident Evil vampire lady. <laughs> 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 Who's all the rage right now? Yeah. Yeah, this is her opposite. <laughs> this guy is not all the rage. I don't think you drew an opposite minion. I think you drew an opposite big vampire lady. Yeah. yeah I think I did. Large Maybe they're man. one and the same. Wow. <laughs> the, the discoveries we're making today. Yeah. Anything can be opposite anything, depending on what you focus on. If you think about it hard enough. Yeah, yeah. this is one of those um, charts that has like four quadrants. And just know that one quadrant extremes is despicable man. <laughs> <laughs> and then two of them are like, oh, hello. Cool. Uh <laughs> <laughs> He's got a knife. Two of the opposite ones are despicable me and <laughs> the vampire mom. <laughs> Vampire mom. I like she's being called vampire mom. <laughs> she's a mom, right? She has She talks daughters? about her daughters. Yeah, her yeah. hot goth daughters. Oh, that's right. Should we run away? Look at his stride. Look at how long his legs yeah. are. You can't get away. What do you away? think running is going to accomplish? Yeah. He'll I mean, take two steps. <laughs> He'll catch you. We have a head start, though, because he's sitting with his legs crossed, so it's going to take a second to uncross and stand up. Maybe we can get enough distance. I guess. Depending on how he does it, he can probably get one step out of getting up because oh, his legs no. are so long. I think if you're seeing the knife, it's too late. Yeah. Yeah, he could probably throw it. <laughs> He'd probably just throw it and hit you, yeah. Yeah. I feel like, okay, so since we were talking about Resident Evil, I feel mm -hmm. like I've combined Mr. X and the vampire woman into one Resident Evil giant character. Yeah. You did a different prompt altogether. Yeah. Whoops. I love that. But it's amazing. I love that. <laughs> I love everything about this. Yeah. It could only come from your beautiful mind. <laughs> we're still going to put minions and... Among Us in the yeah. thumbnail. Yeah. Sorry, I was just picturing the scene from A Beautiful Mind where he's seeing all the numbers, but instead of seeing all the numbers, he's seeing all of the <laughs> wild stuff that I've drawn on. on he's the seeing the vampire the mom. He's seeing <laughs> minions. He's seeing Despicable Man, George he's Costanza. Putting it all together. <laughs> yeah. He sees a glimpse of Robert Irvine. <laughs> <laughs> just for a moment. What does it mean? <laughs> That's a custom chair, too. You know it is. Yeah. yeah. It's, it it's has still to be. not big enough. <laughs> it's so wide. Yeah. He just can't find an office chair. <laughs> his width. <laughs> and that goes tall enough for his legs. Julia, I have a question. Yeah, what's up? In your mind, is knife the opposite of banana? <laughs> I mean, yeah, if you think about it. <laughs> it has okay. a cool, curvy shape. It's soft. It can't really hurt you unless you're allergic. 
We're going to make this just like pin Yeah, straight. you can't be allergic to knife. I mean, I guess <laughs> we're all allergic to knife in some sense. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, you know, it's it's universal. Yeah. I definitely have a weakness to knives. Yeah. I feel like I feel like he's got a desk here. Maybe okay, hold on. How tall would this desk be? Here? <laughs> Maybe I'll just leave it empty. He's definitely in his office. He definitely has a standing desk. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's up very high. You can't see it when he sits down. <laughs> it's a standing desk, but he does sit at it. <laughs> it's a regular person standing desk. <laughs> what is that? A building? No, it's going to be like a filing uh, cabinet. A filing cabinet. <laughs> it like, is wow, the he's... size of a building. <laughs> he's so big. He's so big. <laughs> oh, this despicable man. <laughs> How I hate him. <laughs> and yet. <laughs> I must respect him. We've tested this uh, character with uh, kids and moms alike, and uh, they both said No. <laughs> awful <laughs> awful man <laughs> i do not like the man i do not like the man <laughs> <laughs> all test audiences said verbatim i do not like the man <laughs> like the man <laughs> <laughs> i like the man i mean i wouldn't like him in real life but i like no. this drawing a lot yes. the drawing is very fun the man <laughs> No, thank you. No. Never fun, not even once. No. Despicable. And I guess to be opposite of minions, since there are lots of minions, there's only one. There's man. only one despicable man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we simply cannot have two. God, could you imagine? <laughs> two despicable men? I don't want to imagine. They would immediately try to destroy each other. <laughs> they have like a kaiju yeah. battle. Yeah. <laughs> Well, they would do it like Death Note style, where it's like all these mind games like going back and forth. Um, did I draw the opposite of minions? No. No, but you drew something better. I don't know anymore. Fair. Yeah, you gave us a special gift that only you could give. Yeah, yeah. it's a perfect Julia drawing. Thank you. Funny. <laughs> He's so unhappy. Well, Cricket, I hope you've enjoyed yeah. <laughs> our inverse characters. I'm sorry we we birthed this despicable man into the world. Um, but the other ones, I think, were pretty spot on. Uh, if you want to make some suggestions that we're even more likely to see than the YouTube comments, consider joining the Drawfee Patreon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll have Ooh. access to our Discord where we have an episode suggestion chat room and you could go in there and type your suggestion and sometimes I scroll through it and I pick one like I did for this there's Yay. even a rewards tier where you get to vote on episodes as well that's also true it's all in your hands there's yeah. also one where you could just tell us exactly what you want us to draw and then we send it to you directly that's yes. true as well that's even truer everything is more true than the last you can make <laughs> any of us recreate the despicable man <laughs> 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 non-stop despicable man fan art <laughs> well for everything and also for the despicable man we're sorry 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 <laughs>